بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم Moving on we are going to be discussing uh, one more structure or one more style regarding the mudaf and mudaf ilay The concept is we have a structure which is considered to be mudaf mudaf ilay When you do the tarkib and the arab of this we have to label them as mudaf and mudaf ilay but previously what have we learned regarding mudaf and mudaf ilay what meaning do they show what's the meaning of mudaf and mudaf ilay possession ownership kitabu zaidin zaid owns the kitab so it's a mudaf and a mudaf ilay and the mudaf is owned and the owner is the mudaf ilay what we're going to have here are some words in which the structure is a mudaf mudaf ilay okay but the meaning and translation does not show ownership or possession okay that's what we're discussing here for example the word kullu i'll explain that shortly the word kullu in our example here we have khalaqallahu kullu shay'in how would you do tarkib of this khalaqallahu kullu shay'in khalaq is a fa'il the word allah becomes the fa'il and the word kullu shay'in becomes what maf'ulun bihi okay it's maf'ulun bihi and what's a maf'ulun bihi made up of mudaf mudaf ilay how do you know mudaf is kullun is mudaf no alif lam or no tanween fine okay now how do we translate this everything that's not that's, well it's hypothetically this is incorrect Allah created the every of thing or, or things every Does that make sense? No. So what we're trying to say is that we will find our come across structures in the Arabic language which we label as mudaf mudaf ilay. They follow the grammar of mudaf mudaf ilay. But in terms of this meaning it is not mudaf mudaf ilay. It has maybe an adjective meaning or other alternative meanings. Does it sit with you? Have you understood the concept? So yes, it is mudaf mudaf ilay, but the meaning that it gives and depicts is not a mudaf mudaf ilay meaning. Even though the structure in grammar and Arabic grammar is mudaf mudaf ilay. Do you understand? Now. So, the first such word is kullu. What's the first word we can discuss that has a mudaf mudaf ilay structure but not a mudaf mudaf ilay meaning? Kullu. Kullu means every but the meaning can vary slightly depending on its mudaf ilay if the mudaf ilay is nakira how do we translate it every okay khalaqallahu kullu shay translation will be allah created everything if the mudaf ilay is ma'rifa what's the mudaf ilay ma'rifa so there we translate this as all of or entire for example qara al waladu kull al kitabi so now kull al kitab what's the structure here qara fa'il al waladu fa'il and kull al kitabi becomes maf'ulun bihi now what's the structure here mudaf and mudaf ilay Now how do you translate this? How would you translate it? Yes, yeah, so the boy read the entire book or all of the book. You can't say read every book. When would it be every book? If it was qara al waladu kulla kitabin as a nakira. Okay? So kulla if it's mudaf ilay is nakira it means every. And if it's mudaf ilay is ma'rifa it means all of one thing. Okay? No. You can't you can't don't try to understand the Arabic based using English. It won't be kulla kulla kutubin, it's kulla kitabin. Okay? So the boy read all of the book or the entire book. Correct? Another such word which has uh, a mudaf mudaf ilay structure, but the meaning that it gives and depicts is not ownership or possession is the word ba'd what's the word ba'd 
Bath can be translated as one or some. How do you translate it? One or some. So for example, قَالَ بَعْضُ النَّاسِ How can we translate this? Some of the people said or someone said. Okay? Do you understand? So what's the summary of what we're discussing? That we have structures which are labeled as mudaf mudaf ilay in grammar. But the meaning is not the traditional or the original or the primary ownership and possessive meaning. Okay? For example, let's try a few examples. You do the first one. Kullu awladi khalidin shakirun. Well, turkey, chicken or the egg, what comes first? Turkey by translation. Okay, it's up to you. So, this turkey first. Kullu is it? Yeah. Kullu. What does kullu mean? Every is a verb. What is it? It's a, it comes mudaf, so it has to be a possessive phrase, and possessive phrase is, is a noun. So, so if it starts with a noun, it has to be ism. And ism, if a, a verb starts, if a jumla starts with a noun, it has to be. What kind of jumla is it going to be? Ismiya or fa'liya? And ismiya starts with what slot? Mubtada. So, kullu is what? Where does it finish the mubtada? Kullu awladi khalidin. That's the mubtada. Okay? And Shakiruna becomes the khabar. How do we break down Kullu awladi khalidin? Kullu is mudaf. Awladi is ilay. And khalid becomes. Second mudaf ilay. Remember we then previously can have multiple mudaf ilay. So now we have two mudaf ilay. And the middle mudaf has an element of what? Both mudaf and mudaf ilay. It's mudaf, this is mudaf ilay to this. That's mudaf to that. Correct? Make sense? How would we translate this now? All of Khalid's all of Khalid's children are grateful or thankful. That makes sense. <coughs> Next one. Structure. Ja'ala fa'il. Love Zujalala is a fa'il. Kulla Nabiyin is maf'oolun bihi. As maf'oolun bihi. Fani. And the breakup of the uh, maf'ool bihi. Mudaf mudaf ilayhi. And the translation. Allah made every or all of the prophets truthful. Have you understood? G. Let's try another one. Next one. Yubathu is what? Fa'lun majhul, good. Fa'lun majhulun. Kullu abdin is na'ibul fa'il. Kullu abdin is na'ibul fa'il, very good. Na'ibul fa'ili. And yawm al-qiyama. Ma'ulun bihi. What's Yawm al-Qiyamah made up of in structure? Mudaf. And this is Mudafun ilayhi. And Kullu Abdin 
again same mudaf and this also becomes mudafun ilayhi and the translation will be every servant every servant will be resurrected every servant or we can also say all of the what's happened there all of the servants will be resurrected will be resurrected i'm not sure the spelling is correct on the day of judgment or resurrection make sense okay N next one mm. so here this is lamul ibtida very good lamul ibtida i qad harfu tahqiq Amana Fail Kullu awladi abi bakrin Fail This is true Abu Bakr radiyallahu anhu All of his children brought Islam So kullu is Mudaf Then awlad becomes Mudaf ilay Abi becomes Ilay and Bakrin becomes Mubaf Ilay. The translation will be All of the children of Abu Bakr Radiallahu Anhu. Believe the broad iman. Correct. Yeah, because remember I said so. Even though you label all of these as mudaf ilay, each each middle mudaf ilay is actually the mudaf to the one after it. So what we could do, for example, we could actually say mudaf ilay and mudaf. So mudaf ilay to this, mudaf to that, and then this is mudaf to that. Let's do this. Please. What I'm saying, what we could do, if you wanted to, we could say here, this is mudaf, yes, and we say this is mudaf ilay to this, and also mudaf, yes. And this is mudaf ilay to this, but mudaf to this. So the middle one is going to say mudaf ilay, mudaf, mudaf ilay, mudaf. So this is mudaf ilay of this, this is mudaf to that. So you can label it like this as well, possibly. That's another way of doing it. Okay? Yeah, your turn. Ba'du buyutil madinati qadimatun. Ba'du buyutil madinati That is the? Mubtada. Mubtada. Qadimatun becomes the? Khabar. We can say here. Mudaf. And now you can say this is mudaf ilay. And then you can also put here, say here, this is now mudaf. This is mudaf ilay. Okay? And qadim is a khabar. So some of the houses of Medina are old. Okay? Now, one minute. There's one thing I need to explain is that usually in a mudaf, mudaf ilay structure, Okay, let's just pause here today, inshallah. We'll continue next lesson tomorrow, inshallah. Subhanallah, bihamdi, subhanakallahumma, bihamdi, kawna, shadwa, la ilaha illa, anta, wa nastaghfiru, kawna, tubu, ilayk.